What is up guys, Chu here, bringing you another review on Osama Game, the animation. Previously, I had done an initial review on the first three episodes. I honestly thought that the series was going to be much better than what we've gotten. But unfortunately, in these last few episodes, episodes four through six, which I'll be covering, has been nothing but flashback. It almost seems to me, though, that they've really focused on well i guess i'll start talking about episode four first we are introduced with nami who is basically the girl who didn't get picked by nabuaki who obviously loves chami but it, it was just really fillerish uh, there was no real development with that and i think my biggest issue with that with these next couple episodes but in specifically in this episode it focused solely on one person and i feel as though there was a waste of time though this episode they showed a little glimpse of what they were doing in the present day but it really didn't help much i mean at the by the end of the episode she was able to confess to him after she had died and decided to kill herself she didn't have to do that but in the end that's what she did and episode five and that literally that's really all that happened in episode four but in episode five we see that more people are starting to die uh, we could tell that they're trying to speed up the process with the flashbacks and we have yosuke who's basically a all these characters are easily to forget but this guy was breaking down everything that he could to try to find a way out of the the game but in the process we're we're we're, we're shown that he had a relationship with kaiori who he believed was you know weak at, back in the day but he really loved her and she liked him and it's one of those things that a relationship that really and I hate to say it about any relationship, but it was a relationship that shouldn't have happened because of the circumstances that they were in and they were trying to survive. Uh, but by the end of the episode, there was a, a rule given by the king that not to do anything unnecessary. And we see that people start dropping like flies. I mean, they were trying to see if they can sneak out of it or if they could block it. And those people were punished. And when the rule was given to like not do anything unnecessary it meant to not cry and people were crying obviously because of pain and stuff and the sadness that is to lose people but at the end of the episode we are only left with 10 people and Yosuke was able to find out more information but before he was able to pretty much confess his love to Kaiori and at the same time give this information out he was already starting to die because of how sad he was and Rhea was is was one of the ones that was acting suspicious since episode four uh, people were she was proclaiming herself to be the king when in reality she wasn't and we also get us like a brief flashback of her story and she turns out that she had been violated and pretty much beaten by her father in the end he ended up taking his life which was really messed up but i mean for purpose of the story they may it just used this to make it darker but uh, the information is actually sent out and then by by the end of the episode we see kaiori actually beat up well not beat up but like knock out nubuaki and taking him in hostage and basically figuring out herself that Yosuke had died and I guess in a fit of rage she was gonna kill Nobuaki and kind of like avenging him but it it didn't work he ends up telling her look I, I don't want I was told by Yosuke to protect you and I will try to protect you but she ends up crying and unfortunately she does die so it, it's just really sad to see how she basically took her own life a lot of these people had to but then by the by episode six it's probably the most gruesome since the first episode i will say we see how uh, basically thanks to a die people had to die literally and uh, unfortunately when 
no no noya sorry i wasn't sure to pronounce his name when noya was the one tasked to to roll the die he had to kill off six people and there was only 10 people left which really sucked and he uh, the rule was by the king that whoever rolls the die along with the people that uh, that is on the number of the on the die that they were going to die i hate saying the word die a lot but Unfortunately, Shami was captured by uh, one of the, I guess, bullies. I'm surprised he had survived. Sukuchi, or I mean, they all had the same name, so it was really weird. Like there was one, two, and three, and the first one had died. But uh, big truth was revealed in this episode. Apparently, the 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 virus that has been going on, or the reason for this, is. That the virus was able to transcend into electronically and in getting into text messages, and from what was explained by Rhea, the the dance occurred when you know it's kind of like when a virus gets in contact. It, it was originated in a village 30 years ago, but it's kind of like a state of hypnosis that even if the person is not in contact, that they could they were going to basically die which really sucked and before i talk talk about the final scene on this episode uh, it was really hard to see noya die uh, i will say he pretty much sacrificed himself and everyone else died i felt bad for the girl at the hospital who stood no chance uh, she tried to take her own life but because chammy was you know pretty much uh, being threatened and she had been stabbed in the leg which at the end of the episode it didn't even matter it was hard to see no noya go at least he lost his virginity to his best friend's girl you know peace man but it was just so bloody to see how everyone dies and then Rhea, who at first we all thought maybe could have you know figured it out but Rhea actually just goes into flames and she didn't want to live but she wanted to win the game which really sucked. She thought she had figured it out. And I think from the past, I think this is the only character that I really would have wanted to have seen more of. Um, I don't really care much for Shami. She seems very weak, but Rhea was very strong. And it's really hard to see a character like her go. But by the by the actual end of the episode, we see that Shami and Nobuaki are the only ones left. And I feel like next episode we'll get some more of that. And now during the present, we see Nobuaki and Shami make it. But, I mean, uh, Nobuaki and the rest of the friends actually make it to the village. But it's all closed up. But overall, the episodes that we've gotten are weak. And I've really disliked it. Uh, I'll be honest. But I'm hoping for the next couple of episodes to hopefully pick up again. But guys, that is it for me. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't, and I'll catch you.